What time is it? 11 okay. And welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a recent vinyl finds, a update of sorts uh, on some really cool stuff that I got. Um, this is going to be stuff I got from my local record store, a few things I got online, and I also have some really cool Japanese pressings that I'm going to talk about in this video. So let's get started because I know this video is probably going to be pretty long. First off, I do want to mention these two records really quick because I didn't talk much about them in a video. Um, if you've not seen my band box review video, I will leave it linked down below so you can go check it out. Um, but I did get sent a band box for free uh, for the month of September and that month's artist is the band called Ride. And um, I wasn't very familiar with their discography so I've been able to listen to these records and get to learn more about the band. Um, this is their album, Going Blank Again. I love the artwork on this. And the gatefold has a picture of the band on it as well, which is really cool. Some of my favorite tracks from this album are Twisterella, Chrome Waves, Mousetrap, Time After Time, uh, and Time Machine. And the second record that was in the box was Rides This Is Not A Safe Place. And this is their album that come out this year. This is actually the album that I knew a couple songs off of. The lead singles on here, Future Love and Repetition, were two songs that I had heard. I love this gatefold. It's got some really nice studio pictures. And some songs I definitely recommend on this one would be Kill Switch, Clouds of St. Marie, 15 Minutes, Dial Up, Endgame, and Shadows Behind the Sun. I really love this album. It's been a favorite recently. And a big thank you to Alex, the owner of Bandbox, for sending me those records. Next one I'm going to talk about really quickly is one that I got from Barnes & Noble. I occasionally go into Barnes & Noble and I end up finding some pretty cool stuff sometimes. Uh, I don't always buy records at Barnes & Noble because they can be kind of expensive, but they have some really cool Barnes & Noble exclusives that I will indulge in sometimes. And this was one of them. Um, I remember watching this movie a lot with my mom. I remember watching the Peanuts just a lot in general. My mom loves them. We would watch all of the Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas specials when I was little. And this is the soundtrack to It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown uh, by Vince Giraldi. Or Giraldi. I don't know how you say that. I always say Giraldi, but I feel like I'm saying it wrong. I love the artwork. The artwork on this is just so beautiful and as I've gotten older I've not watched them because I'm just like oh, I've seen it so many times but um, the main reason I got this was because it did remind me of watching it with my mom but it said it was on a Barnes & Noble exclusive yellow moon vinyl but it's more like this clear vinyl it's got like some kind of yellowy creamy smoke color in it um, and then there's an etching on the b-side I don't know if it'll show up on camera or not because it's on clear vinyl if not I'll try and take a picture but it says it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown and it's got the etching of the pumpkin on the b-side which is really cool another soundtrack of sorts that I got I got this one on discogs this is the stranger things Halloween sounds from the upside down um, there's a picture disc copy of this that's in my local record store and I almost bought it but I was like, it's a picture disc, how good is it going to sound? So I kind of strayed away. But uh, they did have this pressing of it, which is on pumpkin orange, is what it says. And I ended up paying a little bit more for it than I would have the picture disc, but I'm glad because I feel like this one's going to be better quality than the picture disc. So this one is on, like I said, orange vinyl, super pretty. Next, this is one I got from a local record store called Melodies and Memories. Um... I've had, I bought several things from there, but um, I couldn't pass this one up. You guys know I'm not a big country music fan, um, but every once in a while I listen to it. My grandparents listen to a lot of older country, so I'm more well versed on older country uh, than anything, and I don't think I really have a lot of country stuff in my collection. My 
fiance loves country music, at least old country anyway, um, and he found this and asked if I wanted it because if I was to get anything from any country artist that my grandparents listened to that I just kind of grew up with, it'd probably be a Greatest Hits because that's probably all I know. Um, but this is John Denver's Greatest Hits. I've actually kind of been wanting this for a while, but uh, I've just never seen it and never bought it. But if I was to get any, like, artist country-wise, it would probably just be a Greatest Hits because I don't listen to very much country. Um, but, I mean, this has, like, some really popular songs. Uh, for some reason, Take Me Home, Country Roads has been, like, everywhere um, lately, but that's a great song that's on here. Uh, Rocky Mountain High is on here. Rhymes and Reasons is one of my favorites on here. Um, and Sunshine on My Shoulders as well is a really good song. And the next few come from Mellow Mats. This is one that I found recently that I just couldn't pass up. And this is The Beach Boys, Surf's Up. I love this album. And I've not seen it a lot. Like, some of their earlier stuff I see more uh, than anything. But I just... If I don't see it a lot, I usually end up picking it up because I love the Beach Boys. Um, and this album has just got so many great songs on it. Uh, Long Promised Road is a great one. Disney Girls, uh, Feel Flows, A Day in the Life of a Tree, Till I Die, and of course Surf's Up is a great song as well. I was just really, really excited to find this album because I love this album art. I just think it's so cool. Another one that I was super excited to find was The Beatles' First Live Recordings. This is Volume 1. For those of you who have been on my channel for a while, uh, back in August I found Volume 2 at Mellow Mats and I was like, okay, now I have to know how many different volumes there are so I can collect all of them. Um, so. I was able to find Volume 1 sitting there, and I was just like, yep, it's going to go home with me. It's got some great songs on here, like A Taste of Honey, uh, Mr. Moonlight, uh, Hallelujah, I Love Her So, Sweet Little Sixteen, Little Queenie. Some great stuff on here from the Beatles, so. We're getting into some of my favorite recent finds, but I just don't know if I could pick which one's my favorite. Uh, this, I was super excited to find. This is Honky Chateau by Elton John. I feel like I'm butchering that. I took a French class in high school, but I feel like when you mix a southern accent with French, it just doesn't sound right. Um, I love this album. This is known for the song Rocket Man. It's a huge song on this album and I love how this album opens it's a gatefold in the back there's this little like flap that you open almost like like a suitcase or briefcase or something the gatefold which is really cool uh, I don't know why I find that so cool but I just think it's different I like little different touches like that I just think that makes an album unique uh, some of my favorites on here other than of course Rocket Man and Susie is a huge song on here as well um, I like Honky Cat uh, Salvation, Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's. It's one of my absolute favorite Elton John songs of all time. And I love it so much. So if you've not listened to that song or if you've not listened to this album, you should. Uh, I feel like most of you probably have at some point in your life. But uh, Next, Madonna's True Blue. I was super excited to find this. This one is kind of beat up, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but it's True Blue and this is an original. It's a first press it looks nice, like the record itself looks nice, so I couldn't pass it up because it was pretty cheap for an original. Now, I'm not the biggest Madonna fan, but this has some really great songs on it, so I couldn't pass it up. Um, you know, it's got Papa Don't Preach, Open Your Heart, uh, Live to Tell, True Blue is a great song, La Ila Bonita is a huge song on here. Um, so, so many good songs from this album. But this one, I was really, really stoked about. I almost kind of missed it because I hadn't really paid attention to the wall. And then when I was checking out, I seen this and I said, hmm, $20. Do I need to buy that? Do I really need to? And I decided I did because this has been in my Discogs want list and I've wanted it and I've stared at it for so long on Discogs, but I've never bit the bullet. Um, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite Motley Crue songs and oh, I couldn't help it. Uh, this is Keep Your Eye on the Money. This is a promo copy of the 12-inch single. 
Uh, it's just got keep your eye on the money. Different, two different versions, one on each side. Um, it's beautiful. I've had this in my Discogs want list for ever now it feels like and I've never seen a copy of it out in the wild so I snatched it up really quick. This one was very exciting. I am a huge fan of Elvis. Elvis is the reason that I'm obsessed with music if we're being honest. My dad introduced me to Elvis when I was really young and it's just started my music obsession. So this was something really cool that I had actually never seen before. It turns out it's a UK pressing and it's really really special so I couldn't let it slip especially for like 10 bucks. So this is Elvis Presley's 40 greatest hits and like the album art really threw me off because it opens sideways like it opens like this and it's like the album art continues on there so that kind of threw me off and the gatefold has this lovely picture of him as well um but i mean it's literally got 40 of his greatest songs on here um it's got songs like my baby left me heartbreak hotel blue suede shoes hound dog love me tender uh let me be your teddy bear all shook up hard-headed woman king creole jailhouse rock um I Need Your Love Tonight, Stuck On You, It's Now or Never, Are You Lonesome Tonight, which is one of my favorites, um, Surrender, Can't Help Falling In Love, Good Luck Charm, Return to Cinder, uh, Crying in the Chapel has always been one of my favorites, In the Ghetto, Suspicious Minds, I mean, and that's just, like, to name some of my absolute favorites from here, but there are so, 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 so many good songs on there. And the coolest part about this record, you guys aren't going to believe this, is it is on this gorgeous baby pink vinyl. I was absolutely floored when I seen it because I had never seen anything like this before. And I honestly didn't pay attention that it said specially pink vinyl until I bought it and brought it home and Jared goes is it actually pink or is it gonna be just like a pink label like I had no clue and um, turns out it's actually pink so that was really exciting and the last few records I have to talk about are all Japanese pressings that I got at JTB's groovy record room in Cottontown, Tennessee. Uh, I go to Nashville every once in a while to record shop and Melinda Murphy here on YouTube, whose channel I will link down below, uh, lives in the same area I do. She lives in Kentucky as well, and she goes down to Nashville sometimes, and she told me that JTB's is where she got all of her Japanese pressings, and of course I had to hit it up because she keeps showing all of these really cool Japanese pressings that I have to have, but I was super excited to go. Um, I'll leave some information on JTB's in the description box. He told me that if I see anything that I like, he would mail it out to me or the next time that I'm down in Nashville, he'll set it back for me so I could pick it up, which was really, really awesome. And he told me he would make me a deal if I bought more than one Japanese pressing, which I did. I bought three. <laughs> and uh, he really couldn't cut much of a deal, which I understand because these records are obviously going to be a little more pricey. Um, so he ended up letting me pick a couple records from the dollar bin, which most of the things in the dollar bin that I knew and liked, I already had. So I ended up picking up a couple and giving them to Jared. Uh, one was Carol King's Tapestry and the other was uh, The Mamas and the Papas Farewell to the First Golden Era. I feel like those are two records that are just a staple in my collection because I love The Mamas and the Papas and I love Carol King. And I kind of wanted to introduce Jared to them because I know he's listened to them with me before, but he didn't have anything from them on vinyl, so I was like, you know what? You can have some of those. Uh, and he ended up giving me this t-shirt for free. It just says JTB's Groovy Record Room, and then it says Little Nowhere, Tennessee, which I thought was really cool and really nice because he just gave those things to me after I bought these records, and that was so nice of him, and I just... Jason was super nice, super helpful very knowledgeable and I highly recommend checking out his Facebook and Instagram because he does post some really cool stuff on there. I literally could have bought the entire wall of Japanese pressings. There were just so many cool pressings on there that I wanted so bad. I had to decide, do I need this? Do I want this? Should I buy this? <laughs> um, one that I seen that I absolutely knew I was not leaving without was Pat Benatar's In the Heat of the Night. 
Pat Benatar is one of my favorite female vocalists. I have met Pat Benatar. She's so, so nice. And I mean, I just love this woman with like my entire heart. This is my favorite Pat Benatar album. I know it's her first album, but I mean, it has the classic song Heartbreaker on it. Like that is her biggest song, one of her biggest songs. And I just couldn't pass this up. If it was any Pat Benatar record, it wouldn't have been passed up either, but this one being my personal favorite, I knew I had to have it. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> and when I seen it, I was just like, okay, yeah, this is gonna go home with me because I can't help myself. Um, but this one just has like a ton of great songs on it. It has Heartbreaker, I Need a Lover, In the Heat of the Night, We Live for Love, Don't Let It Show, So Sincere. I mean, like, I just love every, every song on this album. And I'm so excited to have this. This next one is one that I got mainly because Emma over at 8 Vinyl Low, who's again channel, I'll link down below. Uh, she recommended this album. Recently I got a couple Cheap Trick records and Cheap Trick is her favorite band. And if I'm being honest, I only really honestly knew the like top hits from Cheap Trick that get played on the radio. But Emma told me that In Color was a really great Cheap Trick album and I seen the Japanese pressing of In Color and since Emma said it was such a great album I decided to go ahead and get it because why not? Um, it didn't have a track list on it so I did kind of look it up while I was there um, and turns out their biggest song I Want You To Want Me is on this album so I was like okay yeah let's let's get it like I said I'm not a huge Cheap Trick fan so I couldn't just recall everything on this album but um absolutely love the artwork for this album uh and some of my favorites obviously i want you to want me is huge um big eyes you're all talk oh caroline and southern girls southern girls is probably my favorite on the album if i'm being honest and then the last record i got at jtb's and the last record in this video is white snake's self-titled album white snake you guys know i'm a big hair metal glam metal kind of fan uh and white snake for some reason is extremely hard to find or i just never have come across any white snake albums in my area and uh i seen this one and i almost didn't get it but I decided I'd kick myself if I didn't um this album is obviously known for here I go again it's a huge song one of white snake's biggest songs but I had to have this record because I love white snake and this is my first white snake record so I couldn't pass it up I had to get it I knew I wanted to get their albums at some point it was just when I found them so uh some great songs on this album of course here I go again is a great song. Uh, Crying in the Rain, Still of the Night, Give Me All Your Love, uh, Children of the Night, and Don't Turn Away is one of my favorite White Snake songs as well. So, love this. Super excited to find that as well. Yeah, and that's all I have for today's video. If you all are new, feel free to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And in the comments below, let me know some stuff you've picked up recently or uh, if you have any cool information on any of the records I showed you, let me know and I will see you all in my next video.